what he do, y'all. Be back at it again, man. You know what it is, man. It's the Round Table Podcast. Man, we got another great week for you guys, man. You know, this week is kind of special because this brother I got up here, he's doing a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? He's into the film. He's into the music. He's producing. He's a writer. He's a creator. And he's motivated. And I want everybody to welcome, man, my guy, Duke, to the Round Table Podcast today. Ah, man, I don't even know where to start at because you're you doing a little bit of everything, Playboy. First of all, I want to salute you for everything you're doing. Congrats. Keep moving. Keep pushing. Keep doing your thing. And, um, yo, man, what inspired you to get into all these different lanes, man? Um, That's a good question. Um, To, to me, yo, keep it 100, I, I feel like... Oh, the, mu- the music, like the movies and the clothes, all of that shit is like connected. Right. You know? So, um, you know, me growing up the way I grew up and shit, I, um, like when I did the music, okay. you know. I, it started I, off with the music. See, it started off with the music, okay. with the producing. I wanted to branch off, you know, because I, I, we, we started, you know, you got to shoot a video for your music and that kind of stuff. And then right. once you got the video, you got to have visuals. So I wanted to like, do like clothes and that. Right, so, right. So in the same time, I wanted to like create a lane, you know, and, and make something for the people that's that's re, that's relating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was all it was all um, organic and it, it all went together. So that's it. I just you I, just matched it. You put yeah, the meal together. Yeah. I the just, entree, the desserts. Yeah, exactly. You know? I feel you. I feel you on that. Right. So you said producing, man. Like right. producing is it's a lot of thinking. It's creative. It's not just right, right. It's listening to a beat. Because at the end of the day, you're creating your own sound. Right, right, right. So when you started creating, mm-hmm. what was the inspiration or who was who influenced you? Like, who was some of the people that say, you know what? I'm going to call out a name. I'm not going to say just him per se, but like a Dre yeah. or Swiss. Like, your production had to start. Yeah. It was a plant first. Yeah, it was yeah. a seed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? And what, what was your sound? What was your going sound at the time? Because I see on your page... You had multiple joints appreciate for a lot of different artists that fit them. Appreciate it. So I did my homework. Oh. Now you're working with an independent artist. You're working with your artist. Where does your sound come from? Come from for them? Oh man, that's that's a real real good question. Um, it I, I like to create the sound um for like an individual artist based on that character. If that makes sense. You right, right, saying? right. It's a character. Because you know you, you got some people that's just um. That's just street, concrete, all great, right. you know? So I, I, when I'm dealing with that type of artist, I, I like to tap into that feel, give them, okay. you know, feel that pain through the music, you know? Okay. But then you got some artists that are um, that are bouncy, dancy, you know? Right. So, you know what I mean? So the, it all it always just depends. Like, cause I'm, all, I'm around different people all the time. So it, it, okay. it all just depends on the, the person's character and the background and that, that type of structure and shit like that. So, I, and I always try to put my best foot forward as far as, like different genres, I don't ever want to put myself in one little like one box. Right, that like, was my next question. Yeah, you know, so, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so it it always just depends on different artists and and just being able to relate and um make make different stuff okay. de- depending on their background. I got you. So when you're not working with an artist, mm-hmm. you just in the lab, you cooking. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. You just cooking. Yeah. What well, I mean, where does that inspiration come from when you're not working with a specific artist um, and you just Cooking, yeah, like I was just cooking. It's yo, it's crazy because it, it depends on how how I woke up that morning. You know what right, I mean? Okay. I might I might have got into an argument with my my daughter's mom. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And real then, life shit. Yeah, exactly. It, it could be like something bad, or I could have came from court and I gotta make some. Now I gotta go cook up some real shit. You know? Okay. You know what I mean? Or my mom might have sent me a text message that made me smile, so I, I I make some some happy shit. You know? Okay, so, okay. So it all depends on how I'm feeling at that um, period in time. Okay, so everything is basically organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never go in there with a set like, yo, I'm going to make this type of beat. That's it's always how I'm feeling. That's dope because a lot of people I see and I heard, I ain't going to say I see a lot of people just kind of emulate a lot of other artists yeah. and it's good to just be raw because yeah. at the end of the day, you want Duke. When we hear that, oh, that's Duke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the kid. Yeah. I know who that is Facts. because I, a lot of cats I ran into, I noticed they trying to pattern and it's cool. You can take a piece from each person, but mm-hmm. when you just taking the whole book, yeah, it's, yeah, it yeah. takes away from who you are. Exactly. So, so it's, it's crazy. You said that somebody always told me that um, you, you um, if you'll never be 
what is it? You'll never be different if you be yourself. Like, no, you'll never be yourself if you try to be different, but you'll always be different if you be yourself. Mm. You know what I mean? And I always stick with that. You know what right. I mean? I always going to be myself with it. Nah, nah, at any nah. given moment. Right. I peeped that out from you. I, I feel the organic seat. You know what I'm saying? Even now, I don't know that. Please, y'all don't kill me. That's not a word. Let's not, <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, as I was doing my homework on you, I was paying attention. And I was watching, and I'm seeing how you had all these different artists that you was posting, but you put your own beat behind them. But as I, and I actually listened to every artist that you had up there. That's fire. Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And I said, damn, it, it fit. Like it was the, it was the perfect marriage. Yeah, no, that, that, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And that's was like, wow. You know what I mean? Because I'm not into the, like I don't know how to play with all that. Mm -hmm. So I think to me, to me, I'm looking at it as like that's homework. He did his homework. He's, he's a student of the game. Yeah, I love the game. And I see that about you, you know what I'm saying? Now, being that you're a student, what made you... All right, you said you wanted to do the visuals with the beats, mm -hmm. but you actually shot something. Yeah, 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 definitely. Let's talk about that, man. Um, You know what? Like, you know, It's crazy, bro, because um, like being, being in Westmore back in the day, like I would always... This was back when the CD era, when we didn't even have music on the phones. That we, I would run around with the CDs and all that, and I'd get... Niggas the CDs and niggas rap over them and shit like that. And then um, one day my sister had this camera and um, she ain't never used it and shit like that. And I was just playing with it, you know what I mean? And then it got to the point where my um, look, my whole bro who not had mobility, he was like, yo, dude, shoot this video, bro. You know what I mean? I didn't even know what I was doing, but I went and did it. And I, and I seen the, the format of how you supposed to do it. Right. So ever, ever since, like me, I'm the type of person, once I see like the, the fundamental of how you supposed to do something, I'm going to get it. You, you a me? student. Exactly. So I just studied it. You know what I mean? I went and got my man Quiz. I don't know if you know Quiz, um, Quiz Flicks. He should, I heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I said, yo, Quiz, come down, show me some pointers. You feel me? He showed me some pointers after that, bro. It was a wrap. You know what I mean? I was able to shoot a movie after that. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, I always I always wanted to just give the people the vision of, uh, like, you, you ever listen to a, a song, like Nas, and, and you, you you can see the song? Right. I, I, exactly. Of course, because you know you're I mean? listening to the lyrics, and the lyrics is crispy clear, and it's yeah. putting you in that place. Exactly. So I wanted to do that same thing, but with the camera, you know what I mean? That was dope, and you did everything on your own. On my own, bro. I mean, I went and asked one or two people for, for a pointer here and there. Yeah, and I understand I, that. And, cause I you, and I ran with it. How many you, how many films did you, short films did you do? Um, Yo, right now, in the, in the hard drive, we got at least... At least eight scenes. We got at least nah. I can't even say eight scenes, bro. We we got at least um. We got a whole a, a couple of joints, bro. Cause okay. we, we don't learn how to go into the joint right and go like this and make fire shoot out your hand. We know we know how to take the gun and, and go like that and make the muzzle flash. You right. Know what I mean, like we don't we don't learn everything, so we don't practice a lot. We don't practice fighting and all all of that stuff, bro. Wow. Yeah, man. So you never what happened to trying to put it out to the world? Be, because it. You need so much time, and you, you need so you need so much when you're doing the, the, the film. Like so, like one, it was just me and my brother, and it's hard to get other people, like in the to, building. Yeah, exactly. To, and to, to believe in you and, and buy what you're selling, you know, especially when it when too much money ain't involved, you know, and people got schedules. So it's it's real hard with with that number one. Then two, um, as far as like getting the things you need. You might need a hospital scene, so you might have to get an empty room. Got you, you know, I got you. You know what I mean? So like that, that's, it's just real, real hard. It's a lot more to it. Yeah, like we we got stuff that's that, that's ready to go, but it, we probably just need like one more piece, and it would be good. You know? Yeah, because yo, with the, the era now with YouTube and all this, yeah. I mean, psh, yeah. it it takes nothing now. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It just nothing. basically just let's just throw it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, fact, but if a nigga call my phone right now and say, yo, I got all the people in the scenes. Can you shoot it? I, I could do it and get it done. Wow. You know what I mean? It's, wow. it's, it's been times when I shot niggas rap videos and had it done in the same day when I shot it. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? So you ever thought about getting into more cam, buying more cameras and all that? Or it's just basically once, because you, you involved in everything, yeah. champ. You're yeah. producing, you're, you're doing the music, you're right. filming. So I feel you. You got a lot yeah. on the table. So let me ask you this though, man. What's, What's the heart and soul of Duke, man? When it comes to that, the foundation is the music. The foundation is making those beats. So, okay. You know what I mean? Cause that, that's what I was doing since I was little. Okay. You know, man. So you remember your first piece of equipment? Yeah, bro. You know, it's crazy because my my pops was a drummer. Oh, okay. For, for, so 
For the music, him. okay. Yeah, he, he took that shit serious. Like, like we'd be in the crib when we was like in elementary school, my brother and sister, and we all played instruments back then because he signed us up for it. But then he had to make us come into the room. My brother be on the drums. I be on like percussion and a conga. My sister be on the clarinet, and that nigga be like, "All right, y'all, one, two, three. Oh, okay. The, you know what I mean? He, so the, you had musicians in your family. Yeah, you know what I mean. But he. he he ain't even like to play with that shit. Like if you mess up, he 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 he'll call you on that shit. You feel me? Wow. Yeah. But that's what you you know what I'm saying. Back then, you didn't see what you saw now though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. pops knew what it was because yeah. at the end of the day, music is forever. Right. It's timeless. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I know you probably got something in the crate that you did ten years ago that you can give a brother right now and it might launch him. Oh, you 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 100 percent right. That's that's a, that's a and I fact. think that's the dope part of being a producer. It's it's it's, it's, it's no roof. It's no ceiling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. And that's and that's the fly part about it, man. Yeah. So you know what I mean? You got some artists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 man. I, I, let's I, let's talk about your artists. Let's shout them out. You know uh, what I'm saying? I got a couple artists, man. Um, first, um, my brother Lalo. Shout him out. Um, he he. I'm actually working on a tape on my DJ Khaled shit where I'm producing all of the, the beats. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm grabbing the artists and putting them on the beats. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Um, then I got my yo, my young boy, my little bro, Mo Billy. Okay. He gonna come out with a second tape. You know what I mean? He working on it. It's gonna be fire because he coming with a whole different sound. It's more like inspired by like um, Cardo in the West Coast. Okay. You know what I mean? Then I got my artists. I'm working with King Bless from the Bronx. Shout him out. You know what I mean? I'm trying to work on his second tape too. Um... I just finished up my boy Point Blank. He was down here probably like a few months ago okay. from Newark. And I got my boys from um, Patterson, 12, 13. You know what I mean? So, okay, you got it. You working. Yeah, man, I'm trying. You, know? you working, man. You working, man. How, I mean, so in the years that you've been grinding, because mm -hmm. I asked all my, when I say this, all my entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. has it ever been a time when you say, yo, this shit ain't it. it this ain't going to make it. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, it's crazy to say that, yo, because Dame Dash said some shit that's, that made me think, man. He said, yo, man, it, 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 it ain't it if you, ain't, if you don't struggle, you know? Mm. If, if it's too easy, you know what I mean? Then it ain't right. So, But it's been hella times. I said, man, fuck this shit, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break. And you know, and every once in a while, sometimes I do take a little a little break. Not nothing crazy. Right, it's a hiatus. Yeah. Clear your mind. Yeah, regroup. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Might get rid of all that energy, all that energy that was there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, we talked about the music. We talked about the film. Yo, man, the clothing line, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, boom, with the clothing line, like, uh, um. Did you come uh, up with a name yet? Pardon me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PMD, Pennies Make Dollars. Okay. You know? And um, the reason I chose that is because that's a metaphor. Because, you know, it's about the smaller things in life that, that make the big picture. You feel me? Because, you know, you look at a penny. Nobody keeps a damn penny. Yeah, everybody throws them away. Exactly. But 100 pennies make a dollar, and that's what niggas is. Is trying to get to, wow. to the that's dollars. Dope. You know what I mean? That's dope. I like that. Appreciate I like that. that. That's dope. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. And you know, I wanted to create something where everybody can relate to it. Cause no matter who you was, white, black, yellow, brown, you know what I mean, poor, rich, at some point in your life, yo, something gotta be hard for you to go through. Something got like struggle is, is you know what I mean? So it's it's the little things that I mean that that make the big things work. Right, of course. I mean? It's like planting a seed. Exactly. You're not going to have a tree until you plant the tree. Exactly, and it ain't going to grow overnight. You know? Right, you got to fertilize it, you got to treat it, you got to take care of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, some days you might miss some days yeah. where you don't, and you might go back and double up, so I get it, man. Yeah, exactly. So I, you I know, definitely get it, I man. Wanted, I wanted to do that, you know what I mean, for the, for the hard-working people out there and shit. You know so I mean? how long you been um dabbling in the clothing line? Because I know when we spoke off-air, mm -hmm. you said you kind of, you know, you gonna get back into it, but yeah. you, you know. Yeah, like I, 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 um, I had that the, the the idea in my mind for a minute, and then I ain't started until like when, I think when COVID hit. Right. You know, like a mean? lot. Of, listen, a lot of people ain't start till COVID hit, cause yeah. we was. Yeah. We was locked down. Yeah, exactly, yo. But you know what I mean? I had the idea. COVID hit. I mocked it up. You know what I mean? Then I pressed it up. You know what I mean? I, and I sold a few pieces, so you feel me? Okay. So I'm trying to get back into it, man, you know? I mean, why not, man? I mean, and let, you know what? I'm going to say this to everybody. Let's not try because it tries to fail. Let's just uh, keep going. Right, right, right. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us is trying a lot of shit, but, yo, it tries to fail. Right. You know what I mean? I, you know, failing is not an option, man. Right, hell no. Especially for us. Nah. You know what I mean? Because the grind never stops. Nah. And that's what makes us great is because we know how to overcome adversity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the adversity... Draws the inspiration. Right, right, right. You, you know what I'm saying? 100% right, man. 
So as you've been on your grind, man, how long you think you've been in the building, man, doing beats, man? Man, I, I remember doing beats since I had a, before I had a CD player, man. Going to school, letting niggas say that shit. So I be, I, it's, it's, it's got to be at least um, almost 20 years, at least. Wow. You yeah. dead, yeah, that's that's dedication. Yeah, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's cause I really love it though, man. That's good. I mean, yo, because anything that you're doing, you should love. And yeah. like, don't do it. Yeah, man. You know it's so crazy you said that, bro. I remember back back in the two thousand the early two thousand era when you used to go get like your bootleg movies from the bootleg yeah. man and your mixtapes. And then I, I used to cop instrumental CDs and just chill in my own room and listen to the instrumentals, you feel me? Wow. You know what I mean? Just just to see like yo, what kind of drums he using, what what sound is that he playing, that type of stuff, you feel me? Wow, that's yo. You the first brother I ever heard even say they was buying instrumental CDs. Yeah, facts, man. Word. I, I was big on that. So let me ask you this, because you into the music. Uh huh. We gonna we gonna play a little game real quick, man. Okay. The '90s hip hop compared to now. Uh, Let's talk it. Like, hey, man. Uh, I mean, you know. Ah. Uh, oh man, yo. You know what's crazy, man? Like. I don't got no, I don't got no hate in my heart, bro. I, I, I appreciate music, you know. It's, it's to me in my, in, in my opinion. Speaking truth, I mean, in, in be my, truthful. In my opinion, I feel like it's, it's good from both, man. And if somebody told me to pick one, I, I kind of can't pick one, man, because I, I like the evolution of rap, of, of where it's, in some, some places where it's going, and I love the '90s too, though, because you know what I mean. You, you had all those, you had CNN, Mob Deep, Big L, and all those guys and stuff like that, so. I don't know, man. I like the evolution of rap, man. I like I like them both, man. Yo, you know what? I asked you that for a reason because I wanted to hear your answer. Right. And honestly, your answer was basically, I like it was the greatest shit in the world because me, I've been biased against this new music a little bit. Okay. I'm going to keep it real. I understand that. But I also had to realize the growth of the music, like you just said. Right, right, right. It's a different time. Right, right, right. Yeah. When I was growing up, my parents, yo, we turn that shit off. Right. <laughs> All that bibbidi bibbidi Yeah. Now, I'm a father. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. My 17 year old, my 26 year old, I'm in the car with them. Yeah. Yo, turn that yeah. shit off. <laughs> but I get it. Yeah. It's the elevation of it. Yeah, that's real. You that's know what I'm saying? And I got to respect that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the reason why I asked you that, because you a student of the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was in the house. Before, you know, you playing Trump, you, you playing instruments. Right, right, right. Too many brothers, well, too many brothers ain't willing to even talk about the fact that they can play instruments. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Back then, it was some shit we kind of kept in the closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Ain't telling nobody I'm playing this shit. Nigga, yeah. this shit ain't cool. <laughs> but really, it was teaching you something that... Elevated you on a whole nother level. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, the reason of that answer being that back then in the 90s, that music, mm -hmm. it's really coming back. Those yeah. beats. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of those beats yeah. being redone now. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. different artists on it, with they with the other production that's yeah. sliced in there. Uh -huh. And you can sit back and you say, you know what? That's dope. Because yeah. the growth. Yeah. And they still paying homage. Yeah, then that's what I, that's the part I love. You know I mean? It's like you gotta pay homage to certain beats, you know what I'm saying? Right. But me being a hip hop junkie, mm -hmm. I feel like certain niggas shouldn't be on certain beats. You I agree I, or disagree? I, I agree with you. I agree with you 100. percent it, It's funny you said that, bro. I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. We, my, my little, like my brother, my little brother younger than me, right? And, <clears> and he, so he, he keeps me in tune to all of this new stuff. Right. And we was just in the car listening to um, Ross' new album, and Ross had a crazy ass beat, and then it had 21 Savage on it. Now, mind you, I like 21 Savage, but I didn't like him for that beat. You feel okay. me? Because I didn't feel like he fit it. You feel me? So I understand, I understand you 100%. Right, because that's how I felt. And it's funny you said that because I was listening to a joint that little Baby did. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then I started hearing other shit. Yeah. Then I said, okay. Right. Because certain, sometimes we hear, I'm going to say for me, mm -hmm. I may hear a certain song from this era. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh -huh. But yo, actually the artist is dope, but it right. just wasn't the right yeah, song yeah, that I heard yeah, yeah. that got me for the artist. Yeah, that's all the time. And you might say, well, who the fuck are you? But I'm just saying, yeah. my flavor is my flavor. Yeah, exactly. But as time progressed, I learned to, you know what? Yeah. Let me get this nigga's whole shit. Yeah, yeah. Let me run through his catalog. Yeah, 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 let me yeah. not just judge. Like yeah. they say, you can't judge a book off his cover. You're right. You're 100% right. I had so to do the same thing too. You, let me go through the catalog, yeah. man. Yeah. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Cause you a producer, right? I feel like now, 
a lot of people got away from lyrics. Hell yeah, they did. They I feel like did. now it's a little bit more of a gimmick. Yeah, it is. Okay. Because it's, it's much easier now. Thank you. Much easier. And I wanted you to say that. Yeah, <clears throat> much easier. I remember coming up, like, old head, old head bringing me to the studio, the analog era where you, you had an NPC that cost, like, $800, you know what I mean? You had a program that cost you 500 You You had this piece of equipment right here that cost 1000 whatever, and then your, 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 your mics and all that stuff. Nowadays, it's, all you need is a computer a, a, um, a, and, a, and an interface and a mic, and you straight. You know what I mean? And you become the next nigga yeah. if it pops off for yeah, you. Exactly, bro. It ain't it ain't it ain't no um investing like it was back then. You right. Know what I mean? Hell because no. I feel like my, my I ain't going I am fucking. My era of music, yo niggas was spitting. Yeah. You just keep it a buck. Yeah, honey, you right. Like I can sit you can listen to a nigga word for word. Yeah. It's like now it's like, oh, you gotta put your whole ear to the fucking yeah. Speaker, cause like, what the fuck this nigga just say? Yeah. Like, is this too much? But I get it. Yeah. It's this is what it is. Yeah. You gotta respect it, but I also learn everything comes in full circle. Yeah. Because I'm also seeing a couple of these cats that was doing mm, mm, now they all starting to sh- spit, spit some shit. Spit, and I'm yeah. saying that even with the um, I ain't gonna front. I just heard that joint with the Migos and, and Jim. Yeah, I like that. Trans. I, yo, I wasn't even. Amigo fan, really. Yeah, me neither. I'm not. I'm going to keep it a buck. Yeah. Y'all niggas may hate me, but yeah. yo, I just felt like... Yeah. Nah, they... That, that, yeah, that's what I, yo, honestly, when I first heard them, uh-huh. I was like, what the fuck is these niggas? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is some trash. Yeah. But I'm seeing the elevation of their lyrics. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Even with the baby and a couple other... I'm like, yeah. yo, even with Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, e- like yeah, yeah. even with Gucci. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yo, I wasn't really a Gucci fan. Yeah, and it's crazy because, th- yo, these are the conversations that I have all the <clears> time <throat> with, with, with people, you know? All the time. And I'm seeing, like, okay, brothers are getting back to spitting a little bit. Yeah, and that's what I love, you know what I mean? And that's that's what I loved yeah, about hip-hop. Yeah, yeah. It was the lyrics. The yeah. beats are dope, but at the end of the day, it's a marriage. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know what I mean? You can have the baddest broad in the world, but she could be dumb as fuck. Yeah, and that's not good. And to the public, oh, you got this beautiful young lady, but when I go home, she can't cook, she can't clean. This is a bad marriage. Yeah, exactly, it's worthless. It just look good on It just look good on paper. Yeah, you're 100% right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you're working with these artists... Uh-huh. What do you look for in an artist? What I look for in an artist when I'm working with them? Um, or is it some artist that you like, nah, I'm good, champ? Because yeah. you know, all money ain't good money. Yeah, nah, they just nah. keep everything a buck. Yeah, some yeah. people ain't worth dealing with. Yeah, you're 100% right. And I always live by what my mom told me. Bad company corrupts good behavior. So you got mm. to be, be good here first, you know what I mean? Right. For, for me to even get with you, you know? But when I'm looking for, what I'm looking for in an artist, like I say, I, I'm looking for them to just be themselves, real, you know what I mean, off the rip, you know what I mean? And then after that, so as long as the artist is, is, is himself, I'm I'm willing to, to take right. a chance, you know. But how do you know that if you don't know them? Mm, you you're right. That, so that, say if I threw you an alley oop, mm-hmm. throwing you, yo, I got this kid. Uh-huh. He's nice. I'm I'm you know everybody. Yo, my man is nice. I right. got him. I want him. I need. I need you to. Uh-huh. You like all right, bet. I'm gonna do on the strength of you, Sha. Mm-hmm. Now you in the studio and you playing your shit. Mm-hmm. Just now you sitting down like hold up. Yeah. Like is it a session or uh-huh. is it just? Kind of like some niggas just tell on themselves. A little bit of both, you know what I mean? I, I gotta <clears throat> um, I gotta get to know them. I gotta talk to them, see where their head is at. You okay. Know? Make sure they ain't knuckleheads, you know what I mean? Cause you know I'm older now and I got a kid, so right. my mind has changed over over the years, you know. So, so we ain't just come in the basement. We just gonna sit down here and just do this shit. Yeah. Nah, it's more like yo, let me get to know you. Yeah, exactly. You That's know? dope. Cause That's some, dope. yo, cause sometimes you gotta have that conversation with a person. Sometimes the conversation is actually more important than the actual session. You mm. know what I mean? So it's been a few times I had that. So. Yeah, man, I, I gotta. Shit gotta be real first, and I gotta, I gotta talk to you. See what right, you, right, what right, you about. right. That's I mean, cause a few brothers that I spoke to that was doing music, mm-hmm. I asked you that for a reason, cause they all said the same thing, and that shit bugged me out. They all said the exact same. Yo, he said, my man, I was talking to a month ago, mm-hmm. does some beats. My man out in NC, shout him out, my man Flint, mm. and um. I was like, yo, man, he was like, you know, I'll see yo, how's everything going? He was like, yo, bro, shit's shit doing me. He said, but you know me, before I sit down with anybody, I do the therapy session with him. Oh, yeah, that's real. And that when I said, when I saw you, and I said, I got my, I said, you know what, I'm going to throw that at him. Oh. Because that, some niggas just, yo, you got a couple of dollars, come to the studio, fuck it, book yeah. you and just. Nah, man, you can't do that. That's why I said all money ain't good money, because yeah, you yeah, can sit yeah. there like, yo, this shit is yeah. the worst. Yeah, or not even that, man. It, it could be like that type of situation. And further down the line, it could be like a bad business move, you know what I mean? Where, right. you, where you get screwed out of a, a lot of potential money that you were supposed to have because of the, you didn't make, you didn't um, 
get to learn that person and who they really was. You know what I mean? So, right. So yeah, I, I gotta, I, cause you know what I mean. Nowadays, bro, things are so quick. Like I gotta come to you and say, yo, man, is your business right? You got your BMI. You got ASCAP. All right, cool. Like, you a, are you a father? You know what I mean? That, that, like, yeah, real, you, real, yeah, real you're real doing shit. your homework. Yeah, this is you know? it's, it's being a teacher. You're a teacher and a student of the game. Yeah, exactly, man. And that's dope. Yeah, man. Cause I, I don't been through a, a lot of shit where I, I, I I'm gonna keep it a hundred, bro. I, I don't lost a lot of money in this shit. Of course. You know what I mean? And, and I made some money, but you know what I mean? But being that. I had like negative shit happen, like I took that as a lesson, you know what I mean? So what I need to do in in the fir- in the future to to um to avoid those mistakes that I made right. in the past, you know? So yeah, man, that shit is important. You know? Right. You never know who the fuck you're dealing with. Yo, you ever um on your rise, you never did the mixtapes? Just instrumental blends? Yo, you know it's crazy, somebody told me I need to do that, so I have been thinking about doing that too, man. You know? Because I come from that mixtape era. Right, right, the right. Ron G blends, the right. Kid Capri blends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And honestly, it ain't. I ain't had a good blend tape. You see how old school I said tape, man. Yeah. We ain't even in tapes. We yeah. on phone. Yeah. But I love a good blend. Yeah. Cause yeah. to me, that's riding music. Yeah, yeah. You're 100 percent right. You know what I'm saying? A good blend. I don't even need to hear the artist. Just give me some dope blends. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. could be on that. You might end up I nine You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, People feel, I ain't gonna say people, because a lot of niggas that's in the music, they already know. If you're in the music, I need my riding music. And I know you already know this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Riding music can take you far. Right. Compared to, let me figure out, it, yo, everything. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Even when I'm at work. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just be sometimes just wanting to hear the music. I don't even want to hear the lyrics. I just wanted the music. And you're 100% right. And that, that's like my next goal of something that, for me personally, what I need to work on, you know, is and, and like take a small step back from dealing with so many artists. And, and and do that what you're talking about though, because it's, it's people out there that um that are interested in that, you know, it, you know what I mean. And, and I always overlook that, but you know that's something I got to get back into. Yeah, forever. you should because you know why? Yeah. That's what you was doing at one point. Exactly. That's you was the student of that. It's somebody yeah. right now that's yeah. looking for what you was looking for um, at your era. Exactly. Buying the mixtape, just the intima- instrumentals. Right. You're right. You're 100 percent right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe you know, yo, man, you know. I'm just throwing that at you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, and I appreciate it, because that's real. You know what, you know what, what I mean? That's, that's what I need to do. Yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? Now, any R&B acts you working with? Or you just kind of just... Um, I'm, I'm trying, you know? I'm, 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 um, I'm not actually working on, like, an actual project or nothing like that. Okay. But I got a lot of, um... I got a, a nice handful of, of R&B artists that I want to, um... To, um... Feature. Want to work with. Yeah, exactly. Work with and shit like that. Now, is that production different than the hip hop production? As as far as the beat and the, it can be, and it, it depends on the artist. But, um, like I said, it it, it depends on that person's character. Because I me mean, personally, I feel like I can make anything. That's you dope, as I mean? you should. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, it definitely is different. Cause you know what I mean. Everybody's different. So you know, people gonna want <clears throat> yo. I need this beat to be this slow, and it sound. I need this one to be melodic. I need this one like right. this, that, and the third. So, yeah. So it is. It's, it's a challenge, but I love a, I love a challenge when it comes right, to shit. Right. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna be real. Let's go. And I'm gonna say this on some real shit. Uh-huh. R&B lasts a little bit longer than the hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. yo, come on. We we brothers. Me and we two men. Mm-hmm. How many times you get in your car and you play your old R&B school joint, your old school R&B joints? Yeah, you hundred percent right. Hey. You I'm know, Bubba Shaka Khan this morning. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm listening to Anita Baker at work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those uh, yeah. timeless. Don't get me wrong. The hip hop is timeless. Yeah. But we don't. Sometimes mm-hmm. you don't want to hear murder, kill, death. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You don't want to hear I sold a hundred bricks. I just want to smooth it out. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what I mean? You might, like you said, you had a conversation with your mother. You might have been talking to your little daughter. Yeah. Like anything, you. It's not always. I've learned because I was a hip hop junkie until one day, an old head of mine. You know what I'm saying? I was riding with him, and we was going out of town. He was going down south. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, this nigga, listen. I'm like, yo, play this Snoop shit. <laughs> it's like, yo, chill, man. Just just, just bounce out. Uh-huh. And that really kind of, you know what I mean? It kind of like, yo, this shit ain't, you know, it is right. It's, to me, I found that. I'd rather listen to that. I'm going to keep it a buck. Uh-huh. Then to listen to hip hop sometimes. Yeah, you're 100% right, man. So, sometimes you got to throw on Curtis Mayfield or Willie Hutch. No, 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 that type of era stuff, man. Hell and you yeah. your pops, yeah, you just yeah. show. Yeah. Come on, I know it's timeless. Yeah, hell in the crates. Yeah. That, that's all. You know, you remember when you had the channel that um played the music? Yeah. That's all he would have on was the music channel that played the shit from the seventies and in the sixties and shit like that, man. But yeah, you're one hundred percent right. 
Is that music from that era still inspiring you to do beats now too? Hell yeah, man. Okay. Because I feel like, yo, when I go listen to that kind of stuff, they were singing like, like, like they was going, it, it sounded like they wasn't getting paid for that shit. It sounded like they was going, going through some shit. Right, that era was pain music. Yeah, and I, that's the shit I be needing to hear, you know, because every, you know what I mean? I might not go through something crazy every day, but you know what I mean? It don't matter. You go, we all go through our yeah. own personal. Yeah, exactly. And there's something in there to get me through the Your little day. hump I'm going through. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's crazy. I was watching. I don't know if you caught the documentary on that um, video, Music Box. Nah. You got to catch that on Showtime. Right. It's, it's classic. Gotcha. And, um, yo, they were just up there, and they were showing all these different artists from back in the days. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, that's when... And I'm telling you from my era, yo, really you should watch that. It's, it's classic because it's showing you Nas before Esco. Ah, uh, that's tough. It's called it's, it's Leaders of the New before it was Buster Ryan. Right. right you know tough. what I mean? Like they showing and that like the that energy that they was giving on this platform on the stage. Mm -hmm. Yo, these niggas wasn't getting a dollar. Uh, it was no wardrobe. These, right. You could tell, yo, nigga, they went to Macy's and went and got that hoodie. Right, 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 right. And right. they came on, they got on the stage, and they gave it they all. And, right. it, and the crowd might have been 100 people in the whole in the wall spot, but wow. these niggas was rocking. That's and tough. it just takes you back to that time. You know what I'm saying? Now, with the industry so big and these million dollars, they got these old flyers, the fucking fires coming out of everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's dope. It's cool. But yeah. sometimes I think that takes away from the artist. Yeah, I think so too. I, I think it takes away from the feel, man. Right, because now you just now you can stand on the stage and just yeah. point and do this instead of giving us a show. Yeah. And that's what I look into if I go to a concert. Right. But the piggy bank off that is really just what I'm saying this. Yo, and you saw this all versus how important the music is. Yeah, hell yeah. The the that mu the mu not even the era fuck an era yeah. just the music yeah. a certain beat a take us yeah. nigga ain't got to rap on it right 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 you could be anywhere in the world mm -hmm. and, you know and you can hear the Benjamins nigga we could be in Little Rock oh. Arkansas nigga oh, yeah. the Benjamins come on nigga you might put your yeah, hand yeah, up yeah 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 hell yeah you, and that's you just the it. beat yeah so with you being that creator like that. I know that gotta run through your mind. I need that beat that once they hear that, they, yeah. that's dupe shit, nigga. Put your hands up, that's dupe. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I, all the time, bro. I, all the time when I'm in front of that computer and the, the beat machine and all of that, bro. I'm like, on, on some real honest shit, this is my theory that I, I that I keep in mind when I'm fucking with that shit, bro. If I feel like that beat ain't at least a seven out of 10, I don't, I, I won't even track it out or, or, or um, export it out of the computer, you feel me? It has to be something in that beat that I hear like, Somebody can use this. You know, okay. you know what I mean? Something like that. <clears throat> okay. Because, you know, when you, you know, you got all these producers. Mm -hmm. And now you see the, you know, the generation is changing. Mm -hmm. You know. What have you learned? What have you learned from the time that you, to today? That's, that's a very good question, man, because it's, it's a lot that I've learned, man. It's, it's a lot that I've learned from as far as, like, knowing your business, being aware of the people you're dealing with, um, all type of locations that I've traveled and being safe and all kind of shit, man, because th th this music shit was it allowed me to go to all types of different places, like North, that's what's dope. North Philly, Southwest D.C., um, Charlotte, North Carolina, you know what I mean? East New York, Brooklyn, Lenox, 140th and Lenox, Harlem, you know, back in the era. And, and you coming from South Carolina, yeah. Teaneck, the Inglewood, yeah. so the journey is. Yeah, you know, and I just, I just, I just I, what I learned is that that's probably most important is to, to, to always be, to be real, be like yourself first, you know, be real, you know what I mean? Know what you want, say how you feel, you know what I mean? Cause in, in, in a this, closed mouth don't get fed. It won't get fed, especially a, in that industry. Yeah, and, and a closed mouth will get you R starving. Yeah, you get you will another get, nigga be over your beat, nigga. Yeah, yeah going you, ape <laughs> shit, nigga, taking all production credits. You, yeah, yeah, you'll be fucked up, man. So you know what I mean. You gotta really know your shit. You gotta be on your shit. You know what I mean. And 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 always do right, man. You know what I mean. Don't try and take no shortcuts. You know what I mean. Don't try and undercut somebody. You feel me? Because that shit will come back around to you. You know what I mean? And it can come back around to you in, in the wrong way. You know what I mean? Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I learned a lot from this shit. Yo, we approaching 2022, man. Mm-hmm. What's on the menu, man? 
Let the people know what's on the menu, on man. On the menu for 2022, man. Give, um, we, you know what? Just give us a sample. Give us the or Just give us something light. Something I don't light? want you to put everything out there. You know what I mean? All right. Um, well, just, you know, something that's special to your heart that's, you know, that you want the people to look out for. Well, what I really, really want, to, want the people to look out for is just look for my, my tape that's coming out in 2022 because I've been studying the chronic from Dr. Dre, how he did it, you know, not just the, the beat perspective, but the, the format, the, the format, the spirituality in it. That was a classic tape. Exactly, man. That, that's one of the best tapes to me that ever got put out, you know what I mean? And me being a producer, I look at that and see how Dre did it, and, and, and I'm kind of like, like you said earlier, like taking pieces, you know what I mean? Not taking, of course. Not plagiarizing and taking the whole thing and stealing. Like you take it. You know what I mean? We all, honestly, we all take something for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep it real. You see a nigga across the street like, God damn, where do you get them sneakers? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Word, real, real, real shit, you know what I mean? So yeah, man, 2022, that's that's my biggest goal right now is, is my tape, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Okay, well, that's 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 dope, but I, I need that film, man. <laughs> I'm trying, bro, man. That, that shit you is, know why? You know why I said that, and I don't want you to think I'm trying to push you, my brother. Uh huh. But I want to motivate it because we got a lot to offer, especially the Inglewood circle, right. Bergen County circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not, yo? Get the whole yo. You doing this? You doing that? You doing that? Yo, let's all sit at the round table mm -hmm. and blow this shit the fuck up the way it need to blow up. Yeah, you. And that's one thing I strive to do with this podcast is my town. Yeah. From Inglewood, I live here. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. lot of dope people. Yeah, Teenack, Burton, Hackensack, Inglewood. I don't even feel you from Elmwood Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. It ain't you know what I mean. If you're doing something dope, let's bring it to the table because yeah. at the end of the day, it's 2022 coming up, and a year from now, I want to be sitting at this. You know what I mean? Sitting here with you again, yeah. talking about. <laughs> listen, man, I didn't made it. I, the X Y Z done took off since our last conversation. Yeah, you're 100 percent right. Oh, yo, matter of fact, that you brought it up. I also wanted to say this though too though. Uh, you remember the Smack DVD era? Yeah. I, w I was thinking about bringing something like that back. You know what I mean to the to the YouTube channel, like doing my own Smack DVD, not Smack DVD, but something. I know what you got. You know something, I mean? affiliate, something of that nature. Yeah, like, exactly. I mean, you know what I mean? Listen, man. Whatever I could possibly do to you know to push that to, to help move the uh to, for that, mm -hmm. yo, let's do it, man. Like yeah. that's what I'm. Yo, I want you to know first and foremost, dude. Whatever you got going on, please keep me. Locked in. Appreciate that. So I can always promote, let niggas know what it is, mm -hmm. bring you back, let everybody know the progress because, yo, one thing for sure and two things for certain, yo, we going to blow. Right. All of us. 100% right. You know what I'm saying? And it, listen, man, some people go faster than others, but at the end of the day, as long as you're in the building, yeah. that's what counts, man. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, anything you want to tell the people before we bounce, you know what I'm saying? Um, Shout yeah. a couple of your peoples out. Let yeah. them know what the deal is as we get ready to close this thing up, man. Hell yeah, man. I want y'all to know that follow me on the Instagram, at pennies make dollars. You know what I mean? Underscore after the pennies, underscore after the make. You feel me? Um, look out for my boy Mobility, lay low. Point blank, 1213, King Bless, you know what I mean? And I want everybody to have a happy Christmas, happy New Year, and all of that, man. Yo, that's what it do, y'all, man. Peace to my brother Duke, man. I appreciate him coming through. Y'all know what it is, man. He's sponsored by, yo, We Out TV, man. We Out Travel Group, yo. You know what it is, it's your boy. The voice of the culture, I'm out of here. Appreciate you, man.